What's up, timekeepers? Me, Time Gamer, here bringing another part of Kona. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. It's time to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna be dropping right back into Kona. We, um, so, if you haven't seen the first video, definitely go drop back and see that. Uh, so far, it's very interesting, I have to say. I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, it, it, it does have, I feel personally, uh, like that Quebec feel to it, that small little uh, ex town that has like room between everything and uh, everything's far apart. There's like this dread of not seeing somebody for a while and all that. So, so I'll stop there and we'll just keep going. So let's drop right back in. Blaise. Blaise house. Oh wait, I have she. Uh, so. Uh... A wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. The soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. Mm. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. Okay. I'll keep that a bit later. Money in a jar. What a shame. Carl would have loved cookies. Hmm. A pay stub for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. Alexandre Blais felled trees and chopped woods for Cloutier et Fils. All right. Oh, fill up bottle. I can drink. Ooh, okay, cool. Okay, record players, record, upstairs, because <laughs> yeah, you can't use the real Canadian logo. Why is there hockey cards everywhere? Who the fuck is the window? A window open? left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. A window left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. Okay. The sheets were in such a way that indicated a rude awakening, followed by a hurried escape. What had happened here? Drawing? Okay. Oh boy. La monstre. All right, that's a bit weird. The monster. Socks, okay. Oh, that's a sketch. Impossible creation for a mechanical drawing toy, okay. That's true. That's just etch a sketch. Hmm. Louise diary. Oh shit, okay. I fear the worst for Alexander. He hardly gets any sleep. I thought it was the work, but it seems to be far worse than that. From dusk till dawn he stares into the void. He barely speaks to me. His son asked him to play the the ball and he didn't say a word. And that that way he had the glance at the window last night. I heard him mumble in his sleep. He's coming, he's, he murmured. I don't know why, but those words left a deep impression on me. He woke up shortly after, covered in sweat. He couldn't remember his dream, obviously. He didn't go back to sleep after that, chain smoking the night away over the window. He told me to pack my things this morning. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder why. Does, it, does he himself know? We're waiting, but for what? I, I think I feel dread. All right. That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Shit. I know I'm gonna go downstairs after. Just I missed this. There's. Hello. Oh my fucking god. Where's my crowbar when I need it? Uh, inventory. Where's my crowbar? Where are you going? 
God damn. All right. Why can I not pick it up for? Oh, I don't have that equipment, I guess. Little Martin Blay was a family member. There was some resemblance between them, and Carl took note of the sense of bonding and pride they projected. This furniture has been moved several times, yeah. The picture had been taken inside the house. It was the same wallpaper. Judging by the smiles, nobody suspected the impending misfortune. The bulb is burnt out. All right. Painkillers are always important. But don't do drugs anyway, of course. Ooh, is that a fire starter? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh. A bit of reading for the pass, pass to pass the time. All right, all right. Dominoes. The key, the key, which seemed to be meant for a padlock, bore an inscription reading Cloutier et Fils. Hmm, a company name. Better keep an eye open. Businesses weren't exactly numerous around these parts. Hmm. No. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Food. Why am I picking up cigarettes? I have no clue. Oh, for... It keeps up my mentality, I guess. Oh, shit, there was something inside the fridge, actually. Mmm, steak. Ooh, beer bottle. Oh, okay, there's a note here. I didn't even sit before I left. Thank God I saw it, huh? Uh, my Srudi Marie, please excuse my handwriting. I am in a hurry. I have to leave for North Menestan with Mom and Mr. Roy. What? As they say, it's far too dangerous around here these days. I don't know much about what's going on because mom won't tell, won't tell me anything in the attempt to re reassure me. But all I know is she has the exact same expression on her face as when I startled her. Dan and Mr. Roy aren't coming because they have gone to get Mr. Lachance. Uh, they're real heroes. My grandmother lives in a very big house in North Manistan. You, will, you would be welcome here there. I must go now quite literally. Your friend Martin. All right. Alright, so I, I really have to check out what I'm, like, every little detail, because I feel like I'm sometimes missing some stuff here, so. I think I'm pretty confident I, uh, except for this, uh, attach wire. I don't know why I can't do it. I don't think I have the item, so I guess I can come back here, so. We'll leave. We'll just go around the house real quick. Close the door. There's a shed over there. What's that? A lawnmower? Woo! Okay. Uh, yeah. Unlock. Shit. There must be a key somewhere. Always going to pick up a bit of logs in case I'm assuming my truck I'll have it with me most of the time so assuming I'm just piling wood in that truck right now Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> oh, okay. You see? Thank God I looked at it more. An unsolvable accident. 
Over the last few days, a lack of resources forces the death, death investigation of Pierre Blais to come to a halt. The autopsy of the body conducted over the last few weeks didn't reveal any clues that could have helped the, investigation, the investigators, who refused to comment on what would happen next. This new development is happening in the context of the hypothesis, hypothesis of an accident which is still, in spite of skepticism expressed by the local population, uh, the ongoing official cause of death provided by the authorities. The incident is said to have occurred in the forest surrounding Lake Atemapec. Pierre Blais was found lifeless two weeks ago near a footpath leading to the soon-to-be-restarted copper mine. Blais and the engineer by training uh, who was working on behalf of the consortium headed by William Hamilton was reportedly in charge of the development plan surrounding the reopening of the mine. At first, the police has had disclosed that the body had been dis desecrated. Today, the official version is that was partly devoured by beasts. Hence, the original assumption that a crime had been committed. A crime had been committed. Makes sense. Alright, I feel like I missed something somewhere. I'm gonna make it quick there. It might be a key somewhere for the shed. Alright, let's keep going to the next house, I guess. Okay, so right now I'm here. And there's a little path I went by. I'm just gonna go back. I missed an entrance to another property here. Right here. Oh. Cloutier Fist. Oh, that's where I needed to go. That's where I got the key for that. Yep, okay. It was obviously a timber company. Cloutier was most likely the type of boss to never be around. A faceless name, so to speak. It served as a reminder that the big boss, William Hamilton, had been killed. All right, there is. I can't go in actually with a. Okay, good enough. The wood lot. Okay. I don't know if I have to turn off my truck once in a while. Ooh, a hatchet. An axe. Not too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. And there is wolf tracks here, so... It was a typical shack. Just like the ones you hear about in Quebecois legends. Local lumberjacks used it to rest and twice a day eat up their pea soup. Alright, inspect. You should have put a carpet here. Yeah, of course. Alright, food. Who quits a game one step away from victory? Half full the or half food, empty. The clothes, the general warmth of the place, no evidence of escape. Carl was sure of it. People were here not long ago, and they expected to come back. Hmm. Very nice shiny suitcase. Doesn't seem to be much in here. All right, let's keep going to the next building then. Oh, sorry, am I in the way? I'm in the way. I'm sorry. All right, let's keep. Uh, there's wolf tracks here. Hmm. Ooh, an empty bottle. Hmm. I don't like the music cutting out like that. Hmm. 
Do I really want to adventure myself like this? So I got a map. Oh, there's a little shed over here. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm gone. Run! Shit, uh, equipment. Uh, hatchet. Alright. I got a first aid kit, so... Okay, Wolfie. Oh, there's three of them. Jesus Christ. Oh, the killing in here is not. Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. Woo. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ, that scared the fuck out of me. Someone had been practicing with a crossbow. The best way to hunt caribs. All the same, this bolt had something odd, something shiny about it. Hmm. Let's go back. Alright. So, painkillers do help the mentally and the health healing me a bit. Okay, so. I did pick up that little wire to go to the Blair house. So, we'll, we'll finish the exploring this part here. No little cabin here. Welcome to Alibaba's Cave, Lumberjack Edition. Hmm. Surely Carl would find something worth his time in here. Keys. Forest cabin keys. Document. All right. Uh, Paul and Jean Pierre. Uh, don't forget to return the key to the cabin if you have to use it. Thank you. Your supervisor. P.S. The next bus to Shibugamo will be October 12th. Next one is in two weeks later. All right. Ooh, yay. Ten more Polaroids. A magnet. Nothing of importance. Matches. A chainsaw. It would be too cumbersome to carry around. I do agree. A hardware. Ooh, fire start. At least it gives me some like stuff to fucking start fire. One flare, two flare flares, okay. I guess I'll pick up a flare gun at some point. Ooh, a hammer. Swing hammer. So it's giving me it's giving me a lot of stuff to equip myself with. Is there anything of importance here? Doesn't seem like it. So let's go back to the truck and keep going on our way. There's something behind here. Oh, a little stove. Okay. Uh, let's not, uh, let's keep going then.
All right. No faster than 10 miles per hour. Okay, it's just a big U-turn. Uh, get out the truck. Another one of those fire arrows. The crossbow bolts had the same origin. Carl was sure of it. Who was it? And more importantly, what was being hunted like this? Hmm. Ooh. Nothing. Without a single window to brighten things up, the inside of the cabin was almost pitch black. Beware of close encounters of knee and furniture. Thank God I got a flashlight. Solitaire. A card game only hermits can truly enjoy. <laughs> Carl felt depressed at the thought of playing this. A, su a, su a suitcase with clean clothes. Nothing. Toothbrush is still wet. Jesus Christ, did everybody leave like five minutes before I got here? Or? One log. Duct tape, yes, yes. I know it's close to run out of food. Up for a well deserved snack. It seemed like the place hadn't been empty for long, but without knowing exactly why, Carl had the feeling no one was coming back anytime soon. Hmm. All right, I think I did my rounds here. All right, I don't... Mm. All right, I think I've... Double checked everything. What the fuck is this? I don't know what that is. Alright, let's go. Ooh, a cooler. Steak inside. A barrel. Oh! Tracks. Tracks are, tracks are usually de lead me to something. Hmm. Oh, the mysterious stone again. Uh. Hammer. Mm, 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 mm. God damn it. Okay, uh, consumable. I got one, uh. One of these ones again, eh? Alright, what's going on here? Hmm. more tracks leading away from it. There's that mysterious stone. Oh, what's that over here? Okay, okay. 
Oh, a lantern. Good, good. More materials were needed to stir up the flames. A fire is as good as the materials used to create it. Bottle of beer. Don't seem to be any logs around here. The tracks, I think. Where the fuck am I now? Whoa, I'm almost at the general store. Holy fuck. Alright, let's, uh. Let's go back. Come on! All right. Let's go back to the Blair house. We found that little thing we needed for whatever. I'm so happy I have a truck that I don't have to run everywhere. All right, we're back at Blair's house, the Blair house. Where there was this thing here. We needed the wire. A wired magnet. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that was for. Guess we'll find out soon. Let's move on to the next house, I guess. Alright, so... Our next, uh... We're here, we went to the... There, so... Okay, all the other houses are back, so we're gonna have to go... We're tracked back to the other houses. West... Western Atemapec. First aid is right here God damn it So much loading All right, let's go to the cabin Dr. Beaupré's clinic. Oh. oh, okay. There uh, should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. Medical emergencies in town. The doctor there is sick. I'll be back soon. If he dies, I won't be returning. I'll have to replace him. Okay. That's too bad. <laughs> In spite of Dr. Beaupre's goodwill, the place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. Isabelle Beaupre. Okay, his wife. Okay, that was interesting. Radio cupboards. Cupboards. Why? I don't... I don't get that. Hmm. Carl got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. Within these miserable walls, patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. <laughs> probably. My nightmare. Uh, the doctor is apparently fascinated by history. 
Uh, Earth doesn't look this big from here. Yeah. The store is cool with constant temperature, they said. Okay. Ooh, first aid kit. Do I need some? A chamber pot. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. The good doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happiness captured on cardstock. Carl recognized this woman's soulful eyes. Was it Dr. Beaupre who had hit him head on at the village border? The injured could be recognized by the large stains of red, an informal nickname given to Merbroman, smudged all over their injuries. Okay. Doctors used light reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling, but back then it was pretty much always the case with medicine. Okay, Laura's file. Unknown woman. I never did quite catch her name. The men called her Lore. Uh, she had a neck wound. There was so much blood. The bullet had done a lot of damage. Probably hitting the cerebellum. It was hopeless. She had a cardiac arrest. The men had found her like this. They said, I doubt it, but in a small town like this, it's usually best to turn a blind eye. I've been told to step back from sending out the death certificate. This whole thing, thing sickens me. Uh, Ro Roser Ahmed. No medical explanation. Whoever can explain why old Roser is still alive. He will, as we in the trade say, he only way to cure him is to kill him, I guess. Sylvie's file. All of her symptoms point to the same road cause. She's pregnant. She refuses it. It's, she denies it. Uh, I'm willing to bet her husband is not the father. Let's just hope it's not Everett's Lockhart, though, if she would have an intelligent... A legitimate child or a syphilis at her hand, okay? Hamilton's file. There was no doubt that the doctor and Hamilton knew each other very well. Potty can't be cured, chronic foot pain, can't walk long distance. Rich, I'll cure him for of, of that that day, okay. All right, we're done. There's another thing here. Communist manifesto, okay. A communist manifesto. Only a few years ago, this type of allegiance meant prison time. And even at present, the Western world was very wary of the Soviet threat. Why would the doctor own such a book? Nobody kills a rich patient to start a revolution. It didn't make any sense. He had to dig deeper still to understand. Luckily, that was Carl Faubert's specialty. All right. The history of all hit all hit Herdo, existing society in the history of class struggles. Free men enslaved, per, per, patrician, plebeian, lord of self, guild master, journeyman. In a word, oppressors oppressed and oppressed. Stood in constant opposition uh, to one another, uh, to one another, carried on uninterrupted. Now hidden, now open fight, a fight that each time ended either in a revolution, revolutionary reconstitution of society at large and a common ruin of condense, condensing classes. In early epoch of history, we find almost everywhere complicated ar arrangement of society into various order of men, manifold gradation of society rank in ancient rome we have a patrician patrician knight plebeian slave in the middle ages few feudal lords va vassal ga guild master journeyman apprentices blah 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 well there's no other pages to read thank god oh doctor bag oh, i thought i could open it well that's not someone good. had lost a few liters of blood here Carl's first thought had been a lumber accident, someone's hand cut by a saw, or a hunting accident. In any case, whoever had lost all this blood couldn't have gone far. Perhaps they were already dead. Someone had lost a few liters of blood here. Carl's first thought had been a lumber accident, someone's hand cut by a saw, or a hunting accident. 
In any case, whoever had lost all this blood couldn't have gone far. Perhaps they were already dead. That makes more sense. When locking a door, it isn't enough. Okay. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it for now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. This is extremely fun right now. Uh, so I won't go too much into more explanation. You guys know the drill. Uh, so, uh, of course, if you like, like the video, uh, let me start that over. If you like the video, of course, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. Follow me everywhere. Me time gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, youtube.com forward slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So thank you so much guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.